There we go. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dan H. Welcome to the project. Today, I'm going to be removing this head off this 4.0 engine. Figured this would be something cool to see live. So we are live. Welcome, everybody. Um, let me get this thing angled better. Eh, that's good enough. I'm also filming a video, so I got another camera on a tripod over there. So if I sound like I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to you, it's because I'm talking to you in a future and a video I have not edited and posted yet. But hopefully I'll get everything together soon, guys. But uh, here we go. This is the 4.0 that I pulled from the two-door half of Beach Jeep. So this is a 1999 engine. Uh, this is a 1999 head, airplanes going by, uh, what is this, this is an 0630 head, yo what's up buddy, um, 0630 head, uh, well, uh, what do I need, I need an 0331 head, you know the bad heads that crack all the time, because I'm going to be putting a coil pack ignition system on my setup, but I do have a clear water head, it is an aftermarket, yo what up, it's an aftermarket head, so I don't have to worry about it cracking between uh, the three and four cylinder, like all those others. What's up, Mike? Like all the other ones do. Um, this one uh, is still good, so I will preserve it. And uh, yeah, what else? Uh, I could use a tuppy. I do have a tuppy laying around somewhere, but I do believe the clear water head is better. It's uh, ported a little more. It is used. I only got a thousand miles on it. If I remember correctly, the guy who sold it thought that he had a head gasket problem, but he put it on. He paid to have the whole head done, and then it was uh, a bad block. So, kind of sucks for him, but uh, it's okay for me. So, uh, I'm just going to take it easy and show you how to remove this here head with this uh, secret weapon. This is my magic tool. See if I can uh, show you this. This is nothing but a simple half inch socket. It is deep dish, but it is 12 point. So this is what you need for the heads. It's the perfect head tool. I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, adapter on here so it can make it a 3 8 to a half inch drive. And uh, we'll see if I could break this baby off. All right, let's, uh, let's get going. I'm gonna prepare my camera so I can film the video. Let's see. What's going on? Hello, hello. Yeah. Uh, sorry I haven't posted a lot of videos on the channel. Uh, I have filmed a few, but uh, well, let's see. I've just been busy doing projects. There. Can you see that, guys? That's Rec J. Rec J is getting a lift kit, but I also took off the oil pan to do the rear main seal so um i'm always going in going in deep there we go come on tripod all right I'll set you guys up here grab my tool pardon me Can't find it. Must be out. Where did I put it? Come on, me. Ah! <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. That would have ruined my live stream and my video. Couldn't find it. There we go. 96 XJ and a 95 XJ. Excellent. Those are two great years. <laughs> What's up, Dan? Oh, I don't want to put my live stream on hold. I run to the store to buy an adapter. Awful.
right, here we go. Got the camera rolling for YouTube. Got the camera rolling for the live stream. <laughs> 10 millimeter. Dude, I got 10 millimeters all over. I think I got a necklace with a 10 millimeter. Oh, here's one. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a great idea. A necklace with all the uh, pertinent Jeep sockets. 15, 10, 13. That'd be great. All right, there we go. Warming up. <laughs> um, let's see. This is a 99 head. So I do believe these bolts have been on here for uh, the better part of 23 years. So I hope this doesn't make me look like a fool on live TV. Um, wondering if uh, my extra cheaper. Oh uh, man, the uh, the economy's in shambles. Uh, it's a shame what that uh, what's going on with gas prices. Well, what'd you guys say? I can't touch it. I'm greasy. Sorry. Um, you know, it's funny. I, I started driving XJ's, I don't know, Ryan, Ryan, when did you sell me that XJ? I must have been 18. Um, so about 20 years. Um, I'll be 38 in a couple months. So I've been driving XJ's 20 years. Never did I ever think that I'd still be driving XJ's. Uh, they have far surpassed all my expectations of uh, what a Jeep could be. If it wasn't for this darn rust on Long Island, I'd probably still have that first one. Uh, actually, no, Ryan, that was pretty crappy. I, I'd probably have my second one, which was a, a 93 country. That first one was an 89... 89... No, 88. 88 Limited. Blue, gold trim, had those turbine wheels. It was cool. All right, here we go. I'm going to start cracking free these head bolts. Wish me luck. Don't want to tip over this engine stand, too. It's not the sturdiest. All right, here we go. Budging. Oh. <laughs> Pulling the engine stand. All right. 96 country. Beautiful. Yeah, 93 country was champagne. Get this up here. Now I'm all greasy. There we go. That's a nice loud pop. One. Every time I pull, I'm going further from you guys. Doesn't help that I spilled oil on the floor too, so I'm sliding. Michael Jackson over here. Gotta be moonwalking back across this garage. You know what? I'm going to put on gloves, because I don't want to skin my knuckle on these rat tattooies over here. Use a tube. Yeah, I, I could. I actually, I should, but I don't want to pull too hard and flip thing up. Flip the, flip blah blah. I don't want to flip this thing off its its stand. It's like it's only got three wheels. It's like a tripod thing, so it's not very sturdy. If it was in the Jeep, that'd be a different story, but uh, it's not. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, how am I going to make this into a video for YouTube? Let me check the screen over here. Oh. Yeah, it's still rolling. It's just going to need a lot of editing. What'd you say? Oh man, missed it. Somebody say something so I could read that long comment again.
the heck? Oh, missing Velcro. Ah, what the heck? I'll use my tube. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, there you go. You're stuck at work there. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> Hope you're not stuck too bad. There we go. This one's going to be stiff probably the whole way through because I do believe it's covered in goo and the water jacket. Your ZJ needs help. Oh. Sorry, I'm I'm pulling out of the ZJ game. <laughs> uh, we are in. Oh, well, it's probably a Dana 35. That's why. All right. I am moving to a breaker bar to get some more leverage, and I'm trying to brace myself against the engine, so I don't want this thing tipping over. So. There we go, nice crap. Oh yeah, that sounds great. Where's my buddy Joe at? Where's Jeep Man 28? Tight one. There we go. Towards the body. Towards the body, fork control. Come on, Dan. There we go. I got my uh, my back foot. Can you see it? <laughs> it? Chalked up against this rolling stand for support. Oh, more letters, more words. Hello, everybody. Thanks, guy. Appreciate it. <laughs> Look at that, see? Man. Dance around it this way. There we go. Whoo! This little guy's hidden down here. more words hello from anchorage wow what is it like morning over there right now i'm just wrapping up my day here sam but yeah everything's more expensive these days i would have to say sadly this is probably the worst the economy's been uh in my whole lifetime so that definitely sucks uh, I'm sorry guys, it's not a good time to be messing around with old gas guzzling trucks, but we will persevere to get through this mess. <laughs> I know man, hey that's why we jeepers gotta stick together. You know, if you got some parts, put it out there to the Jeep community. It's uh, it's gonna help us save some money on new stuff. Indiana, five, yeah, man. You know what? XJ's. Um, 
Oh, any any 90s Jeep value is only going to get up because uh, they're getting less and less around. All right. I think that's it. Why are you going away from a ZJ? Oh, all right, I'll get real with you guys. Um, I love the Grievous very much. It was given to me for free in a very crappy shape. Um, at the time, I had my XJ project on hold because I um, found out my wife was having a kid. So the whole Beach Jeep thing got shelved. And um, I didn't want to shelve the YouTube channel, so I gladly accepted the Grievous as a project car for the channel to keep the channel going. Um, that has been a fantastic vehicle. Still runs, still drives great, but like all other vehicles, it needs uh, maintenance. And um, it's an extra vehicle in the driveway, so uh, I actually lent it out to a half a dozen people this year my <laughs> thank you michael duck uh hit up michael duck on facebook uh great dude he sent me that uh whatchamacallit that snap on impact thingy for free fantastic guy something i've always wanted he really came through big but anyway so um grievous was sitting around and um i used it to bless other people uh my sister needed a car for a while let her use it, let a guy from church use it for uh, a couple weeks. A buddy of mine, old uh, wrestling teammate from high school, uh, had him use it for a while. Uh, my dad, my brother, when he comes up uh, for uh, training at the military base, he uses it. So uh, I've been maintaining it and it's been costing money. I haven't really been using it. And uh, I think that it's just time to let it go. Um, time and money is valuable, so I, uh, I want to focus both of that on my Beach Jeep project, which is back from the, whatchamacallit, um, uh, the fabricator. It is in my yard. I want to focus on the XJ build. Uh, that's why I'm doing this, um, just preparing the engine for the good old Beach Jeep. And uh, I'm going to give the, X, uh, the ZJ a very good home. Uh, Joe... Cheap on gas? Yeah. Uh, Joe Craven, uh, a, a subscriber, uh, a Jeep lover, uh, offered to buy it. So uh, I think we're going to work out a deal with Joe. So if you're watching, Joe, I need you. I need you to love the Grievous for me. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Beach Jeep. So I'm selling mine as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did uh, everything I wanted to do. With that ZJ, I basically covered a whole bunch of maintenance things. Uh, the two things that are unfinished are the headliner and the um, the sunroof motor. I wanted to do that for you. I still might. Um, if I do that, then uh, then then my checklist will be complete. So that that is that. There's another video I wanted to film on that too. I mean, I've had a bunch of great ideas, but just not a lot of time lately. Four kids. I had a job change this summer, so free time has been... Oh, I missed it. Sorry. Free time has been this much, and I need this much to maintain all these Jeeps. So, all right. I got these head bolts cracked loose. Um, let me pull this around. Oh, yeah, I'm still filming a video. Uh, for the YouTube channel... I'm just gonna shut that off and uh well you know what? i'll just keep it rolling and edit it this this guy right here can you see this head bolt this sucker this causes people to uh chew up their uh their firewall i know everybody wants to to remove these things but you gotta leave this one in and when you pull up the head uh, the bolt comes with it. That that prevents you from banging that that little lip on the firewall. Oh yeah, I gotta get taillights for Mike. <laughs> Mike, come over. I found a taillight for you. 
Just one. I don't know if it's driver or passenger. <laughs> Ice cream man. Ice cream man. <laughs> some money oh here it comes <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, who doesn't want ice cream on a hot summer Monday, right? Yeah, this one is uh, usually filled with grime. It's actually like in the water jacket, I think. Oh, the crust. Oh, it's just falling down right in there. I gotta flush it again, obviously, but oh, yeah. Nasty. No, I did not sell the WJ. So, uh, here's what happened with that. Um, I did a whole bunch of work to it. I, I do believe I released my EVAP, uh, EVAP video. Um, so I fixed the EVAP. It was running great. Uh, uh, in that same uh, weekend, I also did, uh, what do you call that thing? The, the trailer hitch. I put a factory trailer hitch in there and I repainted my rear bumper got everything looking beautiful um, and then what I did was I brought it to my buddy Gabe Gabe owns a shop and I dropped it there for the weekend and for my birthday Gabe fixed the whole AC system so I had ice cold AC it was just fantastic uh, I drove it for a week at the end of last summer and uh, I think I, I blew one of these things off so I got jingles and jangles, no power, uh, check engine lights. It just just blew up on the way home from work last fall. So um, yeah, that, that wasn't fun. Um, it's in my backyard, still looking pretty. Um, I had filmed a complete brake job, front and back disc brakes. And um, yeah, uh, that... Uh, <laughs> now that is just sitting there. Oh, did I not do this one? Come on, man. Oh, jeez. There we go. That's a little, little panic pop right there. What is my plan with this tear down? So uh, the reason why I'm taking off the head is so that I can remove the pistons from the top. Uh, I'm taking out the crank next. I was in the middle of a video doing um, crank bearings and connecting rod bearings. So uh, 
to not scratch up my crank. Um, I wish I really want to do a stroker. I'm just going to put this all back together stock. Um, this VIN number, the motor of this uh, matches the VIN on the first, sorry, the back half of Beach Jeep, the, the, the two-door, the 99 two-door. Um, I do still have the block of the original Beach Jeep motor that, that blew up. I, I think I put that in the video, geez, maybe two years ago. So I would love to send that block out, get examined, acid washed, um, maybe bored out and make that a stroker. And then that could be like, you know, the, the horsepower monster lugging this extra long Beach Jeep. Um, future plans. So maybe a stroker, hopefully, I know it costs a little bit of money to, uh, to do that build. But this is just going to be a stock quick refresh. I uh, just ordered some uh, bearings, some crank bearings. Uh, what did I get? Cle Clevite, some Clevite bearings. Um, about 60 bucks for the, the crank bearings, about 40 bucks for the um, connecting rod bearings. So good stuff. Uh, what am I doing? I lost my train of thought. I need, I need my knife. Where's my knife? Found my knife. This knife is not sharp. Quick, can anybody guess what I'm doing? Uh, 4052 or 59 what do I prefer um well uh, a 59 is legendary the 59 is hard to come by uh, well a 59 ZJ um, they were the fastest SUVs in the world uh, many moons ago so I've always wanted a Niner ZJ uh, that being said I don't think it was that much more powerful and a 5.2 ZJ, but uh, nonetheless, I have not ever driven a V8 uh, ZJ, a V8 ZJ, so um, I don't know. I've only had 4.0s except for uh, the Green Hornet, which is the HO V8, and, uh, and that blew up. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to stick with 4.0s from now on. Oh, I missed it. Say something. All right. So we got 14 head bolts. There are seven on either side. Rear. Front. One, two, three. Four, five, six, mm. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, ask me a question. <laughs> I'm cutting these stupid holes. Somebody, anybody.
I'll ask you guys a question. Uh, we all know that I am your favorite YouTube channel. Uh, uh, obviously, that's a given. <laughs> Here we go. That's Andrew. I jumped. Oh, what you think? Hey, hey, Andrew. What's up, buddy? Yo, your transfer case is right there. I'm uh, fitting it to the manual transmission that I have, and uh, that baby's going in Beach Jeep. Um, yeah, thanks, buddy. Uh, also, so, uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, we all know... <laughs> I'm your favorite YouTube channel for tuning in right now live. Nah, uh, just kidding. Well, you know, all kidding aside, I really appreciate the views. But uh, who else do you guys watch? What's your other favorite YouTube channels? Well, I got you. More power. Oh, I missed it. What could you use for more positive camber? Sorry, I didn't get that whole question. Junkyard digs. I, I would live in a junkyard if I could. How did I blow up the 4.7? I don't know. I was driving home from work, doing 80, cruising, had the AC on, I had the windows up, jamming to some music, and uh, got off the highway. As soon as I uh, rolled to a stop, uh, it sounded like a rocker flicked off and just started uh, jingling and jangling. I limped it home. Luckily, I was only a mile away from home. And I uh, drove it right to the backyard, and that's it. Called it a wrap. Never had time to pop open the valve covers and see what was going on, so uh, shame on me. But uh, I will do that soon. I'm going to do that soon before I start the body work of Beach Jeep. So, all right, I have myself another map, and I'm going to put all the head bolts in this map. So, here we go. Oh, I missed that comment, too. Dang, these suckers are big. Half-inch studs, so really popping them through. Have I found any limited XJ door map pockets? Um, there once was a time where I found these things left and right. I did save myself uh, a couple for a beach Jeep, but uh, they are really hard to come by. d and &E. Shout out to d and &E. Tom Martin. Cool. <laughs> hey. Hey, man, don't worry. I'll make some more. Um, I have maybe about 10 or 11 unedited videos that are good to go. I just need a, a nice uh, couple hours and a rainy day to get it in. Oh, yeah. No, the... Yeah. Uh, I have not seen any new map pockets uh, come come around. Oh, actually, there was a guy. Um, my buddy Andy um, found a map pocket guy, but I think the guy sold them before we could answer him. Uh, they go so fast. You know what? I'm wondering. I don't know for a fact because I've never been in one, but maybe a, a, like a PT Cruiser or uh or like a grand caravan or a, a dodge journey maybe they have map pockets that we could adapt onto the xjs oh sorry i missed you again VIC. Uh, I, uh, I missed that last part of the, the junkyard request. Um, I found. So, all right. So, uh, here's a behind behind the scenes little tidbit of info. When I was doing my VIC video, it took me three VICs to get to work. Um, I did solder 
one on my third one and, and it fixed it. But the first two I got on eBay, the first one was broken, got it cheap, thought I could fix it. Um, the second, hey, Andy, see, my buddy Andy, he's got the map pocket guy. Andy always comes through. Um, so yeah, uh, I bought a cheap one on eBay. I thought I could fix it. Uh, that one did not work, unfortunately. Um, then I spent like, I don't know, something stupid, like 80 bucks for an emergency VIC because I was in the middle of the video, couldn't get it to work. Um, bought another one that was supposed to work and it came busted. So I was pissed about that. Um, I still have that in my basement, that is busted. Um, and then I ended up finding a third one that sort of worked. That That's the one you see in the video, like when I tap it, it blinks out. So of course I had to resolder that one too. The VICs are hit and miss, but if you could find one um, and fix it that has the, the bad solder issue, it should be all right. But again, they blink out for other reasons, but um, yeah. Uh, I don't know, hit or miss, I guess. Martin built. I love Martin built. Martin is awesome. TKO. Oh, I missed that. What'd you say, buddy? Uh, I'm not reusing these. I do have a brand new set. A Andy, Andy, this head is a 0630. It's uh, from a 99. So it's a mid 90s head. This one will not work with. Uh, Look at this jingling and jangling. They will not work with. Yes, they do. You guys are cranking it out. How's it about? Junkyard VSC. Yeah, yeah. And junkyards are tough too because uh, the ones by me, they're they're all exposed to the elements. Someone will take a door, and then your VIC is going to get the moisture and all that crap in it. Um, I do believe these are original head bolts. Um, I am arranging them in order, uh, just so I know where to put my new ones, because uh, that uh, that would help to know where they go. So here we go, guys. We got our head bolt map, and uh, again, if you are taking this off in the Jeep. You're gonna leave this uh, back corner one in, so you're not uh, you know, banging it against the uh, the firewall. So I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna set our side our map and lift the head. Gonna cut a nice fresh piece of cardboard. Open it up so I could put the head down on something that surface in the bottom holy crap we got spam hey stop spamming what does that even mean <laughs> oh, voltage oh no oh no an electric problem <laughs> i hate jeep electrical stuff uh i don't know man this sounds like a short somewhere Andy, Andy, can you bump that guy? All right, this will fit. All right, I got a nice safe place to put my head on when I remove it. Um, put my knife to the side, I'll put this in a nice place in the clear. Let me see, oh, this is still filming, so I guess that's cool. Oop. 
Uh, all right. Well, how much do these things weigh? About 80 pounds? And a solid chunk of iron, just about. All right. I'm just going to try to lift this straight up. Uh, again, if you're lifting this in your Jeep um, and you leave this thing in here, that, that head bolt, you're going to want to get this really high before you move it because you don't want to drag along that bolt on your deck. Uh, that would suck. This is just laying on the gasket. Now i got to wait for this plane to go by because I am still filming for the video <laughs> that you will guys see one day. That you guys will see one day. Am I speaking English right now? Mm. The place to, yeah, that's that's a start, man. Uh, hopefully, you don't have a broken ground somewhere along. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tommy. Appreciate it. Where did I get the rear spoiler at? Um, oh, hey, Mayor Bear. Hey, uh, the original one I got on Beach Jeep, I got from Germany in 2010. I was searching on eBay for years, and one popped up in some Mopar surplus factory uh, somewhere in, in Germany. So I had it shipped, and, uh, oops, sorry, I missed that other comment. I had it shipped out here, and then a few years later, I figured I'd buy a couple more to, uh... yes, yes, I do need a Corona. Actually, I ran out of Coronas. My buddy brought me Modellos, so it'll have to do. <laughs> All right. Oh, there goes my G rating. Ah, that's good. Good stuff. All right. About the XJ, uh, I th I got a text from you about Cherokee Ronnie. I didn't get to watch it. I got slammed at work today. I got to get this head off so I could get the pistons out, so I could get the uh, crank bearings ordered. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm a professional beer drinker. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now I got some beer muscles going on. Uh, let me let me address the YouTube camera. All right, guys, all the bolts are out, so now I'm just going to lift up the head with my beer muscles. Oh, I forgot to take out the push rods. Oh, it's all right. Slid out nice. <laughs> Why didn't you guys remind me about the push rods? How could you let me do that? Um, I'm just kidding. Everything is fine. All right, look at that. Not too rusty, not too bad. Can you guys see that? What up, homie? Push Todd's. <laughs> Yo, one beer. <laughs> That's all it takes to get me off my game. I was just excited about the beer. <laughs> we are brothers. Brothers in Jeep. <laughs> All right. I should probably address this whole push rod situation. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's see. This is how we do for YouTube. YouTube not live. I got like fingerprints on this. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, guys, when you lift up your head and you forget to take out your push rods, as I did live, 
in front of all these kind folk. Uh, say hi to the folk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, just make sure you lift up the head nice and straight, up and even. Um, if you leave this, uh, if you take the head off while it's on the vehicle, you got to leave that bolt in anyway. So uh, remove this thing straight up. Now I got to roll all these push rods on a glass table to make sure they're not bent or, or uh, I don't know, mangled in any way. So if they roll smooth on a glass table, uh, they're good to be put back in. Um, what the heck, I'll mark these on a map too and, and label them also, just like everything else. So. There we go, the head is off. Look at that. Not too rusty. Been sitting for two years. I'll take it. Whoop. Oh, that's awesome. Say what's up to you guys, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm done filming on that YouTube camera, so I'll just chat with you guys right here some more. About to call it a night soon. Uh, I I is tired. <laughs> you know what? Um, I enjoy doing the hard stuff more and more lately. Just, uh, well, especially when it's out of the engine. It's, uh, it really is a pleasure to work on an engine stand. Uh, I've had this engine stand for about six years. It's the first time I actually am using it. So, uh, go figure. Oh wow, I just jumped up about 10 viewers. What's up, newcomers? How y'all doing? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Intake and exhaust for each cylinder. And of course, we're gonna label it. And back, you know it, Andy. <laughs> Yo, guys, I am stupid. <laughs> Rawr. That's the rawr of my engine. Jeez, one sip of beer and I am falling apart. Wow. In front. Uh, what the heck? All right top here and it's needless to say but this is the uh, <laughs> lifter side lifter side <laughs> don't make fun of me Larry stop making fun of me I'm watching Waterboy tonight because that movie is the bomb <laughs> Push rods.
Not like an old push rod motor. These uh, overhead cam things, they're just not as tough. Punch it in, punch it in. <laughs> I'll say that again. Uh, a twenty year old oh, automotive repair business, too. Oh my goodness, uh, the automotive repair business, can I get real with you, uh, honesty, 110% honesty, that is the best way to go uh, every time. You don't want to get a reputation for being a dishonest mechanic, um, if that word gets out, you're ruined, uh, so just be 100% honest in, in everything you do, really. Uh, of the truth shall set you free. So, there we go. I don't think I'm going to put this on YouTube. Eh, maybe I'll just take a clip from this and put it on YouTube. The head gasket delete. Wait a minute. Is that a real thing? I've always used head gaskets. You could delete them? What do you get? A giant copper slab? Those are good gaskets. Those are racing gaskets. Oh, this thing is on there. Here we go. Head gasket off. Yeah, baby. 99 is a great year for for Jeeps. <laughs> it's a meme. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, I think I'm going to need another beer. <laughs> no, you idiot. It's a meme. Of course you need a hand gasket. Uh, I save all my gaskets. Here's my... Uh, my exhaust and intake gasket. <laughs> Gotta go put this in a pile. A pile right there. All right, I want to show you guys something. Check this out. So. I was wire wheeling this engine block and painted. I did a video on that too. Um, I had to clean this thing really, really well. Um, and I wasn't going to really take it apart at first, but I figured what the heck, since it's already up here, might as well strip it down. Um, so while I cleaned it, actually I power washed it a bunch of times. I use this uh, industrial purple degreaser by Zep. You know, that shit's the bomb digs. Um, anyway, this thing was super clean, and uh, I figured I'd paint it before I go ahead and crack this open and, and drip oil everywhere. So uh, I, did, uh, I did the paint job, and I always seal up the intake valve, the, uh, the intake and exhaust ports uh, on the head, just so no debris gets in. But look at this, guys. As careful as I was. Look at this. This is a little bristle. 
You know what this is? No. This, this is a wrap. I was cleaning something on my workbench with the brass one. And it must have shot across the workbench and into the untaped ports. Get out of here. That would have been a disaster. Uh, thank God. Let's just... But anyway, there's a grime and gunk in there anyway. I I'm, I'm happy. I'm going to have a nice fresh start. All right, let me put you back on the pod. The old tripod. All right. Let me, uh... oh, shoot. I'm out of brake clean. Uh, whatever. I'll clean this off later. I'll just flick off the sludge. Look at that. Ooh, what hair? The dog hair? My Fiona in the engine? <laughs> Gross. All right, this engine was sitting in my backyard for two years. Uh, what I did to keep this from seizing was uh, every couple months or so, I'd, I'd pop off the spark plugs and uh, shoot a little bit of a deep creep uh, penetrating lube right into the spark plug hole. And I'd give the baby a couple cranks on the... Um, uh, the, 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 the harmonic balancer bolt just to keep this going. Uh, I did not drain the oil when I pulled this thing because I wanted it lubed and I didn't want it to dry out. I did have an engine uh, reserved for uh, this build that unfortunately <laughs> I forgot to maintain or, uh, or, or lube if you will and that thing, that thing seized up. Uh, I was able to crack it free but at that point, it was just, uh, you know, I didn't want to risk it. I wasn't even planning on taking this thing that far down, but but whatever. Uh, just, uh, just don't leave things outside rusting and rotting uh, like I do. <laughs> Hopefully, your guys' your guys' builds uh, won't take four years like mine's taking. But, uh, hey, do what you can, right? Um, what else, guys? What else do you want to see? Let me, uh, oh no, the uh, connecting rods are disconnected, so uh, let me line this up. go and while I have your attention your attention please I'm just gonna take out these pistons can I will I should I uh, my neighbor just came home and uh, he just gave me the nod. He's gonna mow the lawn. So if he starts it up, I'm gonna cut the video, unfortunately. But uh, I really appreciate you guys spending your evening with me. I know it's been a while. You know what? Maybe I'm going to clean this junk out before I push these rings through all this crap. I think that's what I'll do. Well. Uh, again, it was very nice seeing you guys. Uh, I miss you on YouTube, but uh, I'll post up some videos soon, and uh, hopefully 
you'll be able to see this video pop up uh, on your feed uh, very soon. Um, all right, uh, I'm going to sign off now. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next project. Peace.